thanks for stopping by for another video and if you are new welcome please consider joining our family and hitting the subscribe button and welcome back to all of my returning subscribers and today's video is and this is an Amazon Prime wardrobe and this is the box and it was just too heavy I just could not lift it I mean I have it empty right now I couldn't even hold it up it took the whole frame so I figured I would just leave it in the background here so with Amazon Prime wardrobe you have to be um, an Amazon Prime member and these days you can pay a monthly amount I'm trying to think how much it is 12 or 13 dollars a month towards your prime membership and you pay it monthly and if you use it for six months and decide you don't want it anymore you can cancel it I don't, there's you know there's no no commitment and one of the benefits there's many benefits of prime but um, the one benefit that I like about prime is the wardrobe so you can you go onto Amazon you click the um, prime wardrobe and you can select out of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of items, clothing uh, for women, kids, men's jewelry, handbags, you, you name it, just like any box, you can get any item. What I like is um, I get to choose the items that I would like to receive in my box. So you can receive up to eight items in your box. And once your box is full, you click you know proceed to check out and they ship your box um, you do not pay anything up front with a prime member you have to use a credit card um, for your checkout process they will not take debit cards um, at all I know they used to but not anymore so you just use your credit card and you know this way I guess it secures them if you don't send any of the items back that then they'll charge your credit card um, and they do give you seven days once you receive the box to try the items on in your own home with your other clothing items, decide what you want to keep, and then you return it right back in this box. They give you um, paperwork, just like all the other boxes do. Um, you know, you get a little invoice, and this does give you pricing, which is nice, and then you get your return label, and this goes back to UPS ground, so you have to take it back to a UPS location. And I know for some that can be a hassle. Um, I'm sure you could schedule UPS to do a pickup, but I have about a block, two blocks away from my home, a UPS store, so it's easy for me just to take it there. And um, so I never mind doing these. And I already have items in my Amazon cart for my next box. Um, things that, you know, because you only can get eight items. And I had found, I think, maybe 11 items that I wanted. So I picked eight to get first. And then I have a few that I saved and then put in my cart so when this goes back I'll add other items and I can get another box and you can keep on doing it and not pay anything and whatever items you keep you get charged for it's just like every other box out there now I know Amazon Prime Wardrobe does offer um, with the Prime membership um, where a stylist will you fill out a survey and a stylist will pick your clothes if that's what you would rather because I know sometimes it can be a hassle on Amazon Prime to find the wardrobe eligible items in your size and in the color so it could take some time sometimes um, and I do think so I think that was $4.99 for the month for the stylist to do it and I'm sure they give it to you as a credit um, if you keep anything just like all the other services out there and I was going to try that but I figured uh, so far I've had luck in finding things that I wanted in the size and the color ranges that I wanted um, on my own so maybe eventually I will let a stylist do it so this we don't need right away and I'm going to show you the items that I chose and then we'll just like all the other boxes do a try on and everything comes you know in plastic bags and this one I just did open I was going to open every I think I did open all the plastics so I didn't have to um, mess around with it too much because you have to put it back in the plastic and the first item I received is like a or that I chose is like a tie-dye shirt so it's in the blues and some purples, long sleeve, you know, I'm thinking more for, um, you know, fall and winter. And this has the shark bite hem, which I tried a shirt on and actually didn't mind that. I didn't think it, because um, if it's just slightly um, longer, um, you know, it was fine for me. And this is the back. So this is really cute. Um, hopefully that looks nice on. I do like that. And I don't have too many sweaters, so I figured I would try a sweater. And this is just, oh, maybe I should tell you some prices why I'm doing this. 
might make it a little easier or have an idea of what the item is. So that shark. Um, hmm. Of course, now I'm not going to be able to find him. Shoes. I got a couple pair of shoes too. Um, I have no idea where that top is. Oh, I see. This is One World Woman's Petite Long Sleeve Tie Dye Sweater Knit Top, and it says Earth's Beauty in Flint Stone, twenty seven fifty nine. This next top, while I'm here, so I don't uh, lose my place, is from, and I'll just. Sh this up and show you this and then I can go into a little bit more detail so this is a sweater and this is by um, Leo and Nicole and this is um, a women's petite uh, and this is 1384 and the noir is the color so this is like um like a scoop neck boat neck it's I'm not really sure of the neckline it seems like it comes up pretty high not real long it does does not have any slits and it just has a real thin hem and I these sleeves do look like they're three-quarter sleeve and they're a little bit wider this is so soft so this is more like your grays gray and cream um, dark gray light gray cream it's not white but this is really cute and I don't have a ton of sweaters I'm not really but um, like I'm more like sweatshirt very casual but I thought this would look nice with um, jeans or with anything else um, let me see I did get a pair of jeans I have a couple pair not that I really need them but why not let's take a thing out of the bags you just have to return them back in the bag and these are um, Lee jeans they're usually um, my favorite Lee jeans so these are Lee relaxed fit straight leg jean I guess the color is Bewitched, and these are a short length, $29.99. So just your standard, you know, mid-rise, I think. Um, a little stretch, not much. And, you know, it says straight, I oh know, yeah, straight leg. To me, that almost looks like, um, almost like a boot cut, not necessarily a straight. Let me just see if that label says anything different it says straight leg on it relaxed fit mid-rise is definitely the mid-rise so I mean I do have some dark jeans but I figured I would try these just to see um, I usually I think my preference I like Lee riders for jeans like I don't seem to like they seem to fit waist hips legs um, I, you always have um, trouble with um, length and then these I wanted, so I got two pair. One is navy, and these are ruby red and ruby red, ruby red. These are petite pull-on stretch ponte ankle leggings, and I got one pair in navy, and I think I got another pair, espresso. Um, I had received, um, I do have navy dress pants, but I wanted more of like a casual pant. Let's get this down here. And these actually turned out to be pretty dressy looking so they're i wouldn't say that these are leggings at all this is more like a like a dress pant as you can see at the bottom and they're just like a pull-on style let me get the back and they're just like a pull-on um real thick waistband um they're dressy casual dressy not super dressy i i don't know why they consider these leggings i mean they clearly say leggings on them but I wouldn't consider these a legging. Poly rayon spandex. But um, they're cute, and I figured too, um, if I didn't want to wear uh, like a button, you know, button and zip closure um, pant, that they might be nice. And this pair is the espresso pair. Let's put these open. And these are the same exact ones as the blue ones, but
but in the espresso and I'm hoping they fit nice. I have a shirt that I got, I think from Stitch Fix that I absolutely love, but I figured in the winter I could wear it more with like an espresso. Um, not necessarily, I mean, if this would have been a true legging, maybe, and I want to try, I have some leg, like true leggings, which I thought these were in my cart for next time. But these are more like a dressier, like a pull-on dressier pants. So I don't know if I'm going to like them or not, but I figured I would try them for that shirt. And I can show you that shirt when I try those on. So those pants were 20, the navy were 26.65 and the espresso were 25.59. And then I got a couple pair of shoes. I wanted to, um, this pair is by Life Stride. Here, I don't know which ones these are. Oh, these are like these ones. I thought these would be real cute. I could still wear these now and then wear them in the summer. These are cork, you know, just a like rubberized flex bottom, super sport. I mean, not real high, you know, a couple inches, but I love the, um, just the frayed look of that. It has a full, you know, ankle support in the back with this, you know, buckle strap. And I thought these were really cute. So I figured I would try those. Because I could wear them now, probably for another month or so, and then you know, I but I could wear them all next spring and summer. So the Life Stride, these are Life Stride Women's Lena Pump, white and black, and they're a size six medium, and they were forty dollars and sixty seven cents for those. And then I got from these are Dr. Scholl's. Um, and these are an ankle boot. Oh, these are cute. These are really cute. So this is, this is the pair. And this is in toasted coconut microfiber. These are $81. But these are adorable. Right here. And then this is what this side looks like. So this is the profile of the shoe. Here's the back. And here's an overview and the bottom you know a nice rubberized bottom the zip comes down you know for eat get in and out of it i think these are really cute i love the texture here maybe you can see here and it's on the back and on both sides and then the heel sort of is covered in suede also i mean you would have to i would water have want to waterproof them they're really cute just trying to find um I don't know if doesn't really matter they'll be i'll be trying them on so so i figured i would try those i did have i think i have a black pair of like shoe boots but um so they were 81 dollars yeah the life drive was 40 they're 81 the next pair are from kula kula bura or kula bura by ug i figured i would try these and these are Women's Sophia Fashion Boot in black, size 6, you know, medium. These are $89.78. Let's see what these look like. It's hard to tell sometimes from pictures when you see them. And these are cute. So this is the front look of the shoe. Here's the side. So it has, like, the openings off to the side. It has a chunkier heel, not real high. And this is, like, feels like suede on it, too. And this is this, you know, the outside that people, you know, towards the outside of your foot. And this is more like a rounded toe. These are suede also. It has the, um, you know, zipper get in and out. It's a little tight, but they're brand new. And then on the very back, it has, you know, the little UGG. I guess that's their little symbol. That's what they're really cute. And these have the um, rubberized bottom also. So I figured I would try... Um, just to be able to wear, um, you know, with jeans or with leggings or whatever in, um, you know, the fall and the winter, some get some boots. I have one pair of black, um, like shoe boots like that, but they're more dressy. These are, you could dress them up, but these are more like dressy casual or casual with jeans. So they are the items that I chose to put in my wardrobe box and I'll be back in just a second with the try on. Okay, I have the first two items on. This top 
is the One World Woman's Petite Long Sleeve Tie-Dye Sweater Knit Top Earth's Beauty Flint Stone. This is $27.59. Sleeves are a little long. Um, I could overlook that. Um, that won't overly bother me because they're not super duper long. Fits nicely. The neckline is um, good. Uh, the material is very thin. It fits, um, you know, it's more form fitted, which doesn't really bother me um, because things can't always be baggy or else you just have no shape all the time. I don't know, um, like it's straight across the front. I'm not, I don't know how I feel about this. I tried one other top one with the shark tail hem and I didn't mind it. This is the back. I mean, it's not bad. I'm, I'm not sure if I'd be comfortable on this or not. It feels a little itchy on my skin, but um, I'll have to think about that. And the pants that I have on are the Ruby Red Women's Petite Size Pull-On Stretch Ponte Ankle Leggings and Navy $26.65. These are the perfect length. I mean, I just left my um, slippers on. I mean, perfect length. It's right. It's not hitting the floor. Um, a lot of times then I'd have to hem things. So that is good. Um, I just think they're a little too, a little too big at the top and the back. I would need to go down a size because I would want them to fit at the waist. And then they are a little baggier in, you know, in the rear and in the leg. So I think at one size down, then I think would bring them a little closer to my body. And I think I would like them a lot more. So that's the navy with this top. And then I'll be back and try on the um, espresso pants just like these. They're probably going to be too big also. And um, with the shirt that I already owned that I specifically wanted the um, brown pants for. So we'll be right back with the next item. Okay, so then these are the same leggings in espresso, same size. So these are $25.59, the brown ones. And these are, you know, fit the same way. They're just too big at the waist, too baggy in the rear and in the leg. So de um, the brown ones are, I would definitely order one size down because I definitely want the brown pants. And this is the top that I got from Stitch Fix that I absolutely love, that has like some blues, some greens, some teals, a look like a light um, green, orange, and the brown. And I figured in the fall and in the winter, I could wear this um, with brown pants. I was just struggling to match it with other pants um, and it was just out of my comfort zone. I mean, it looks fine with dark jeans and it looked good with olive leggings, but I really thought for the winter that it would look good with brown since there is that hint of brown in it and just bring a lot of color on the top. And I love this shirt. I mean, it's perfect the way it fits, a little longer in the back, shorter in the front, but not too long. And the sleeves are perfect for me. And if you're out to eat, the sleeves are back so they're not falling, you know, in your food. If they were full length, you know, they would constantly be falling. So this is perfect for me, you know, with some nice jewelry, you know, a nice um, necklace earrings or no necklace earrings bracelet, maybe, or watch. But so I think I will reorder these pants in a smaller size for the brown. The navy, I don't necessarily need. I might, um, you know, the price I think was only like a dollar difference. And once again, the length is perfect for me. So, um... In order to get more wears out of this top and not having to um, struggle I figured these pants I could still wear them casual with a nice flat put heels on and um, you know or put if any of the booties um, you know shoe boots look nice wear them in the winter um, so I definitely will be reordering the bottoms in the proper size and we'll be right back with jeans and the sweater I think and then we'll show some of the shoes Okay, I have the next two pieces on, and I have the jeans on, which are the Lee Women's Relaxed Fit. Straight leg jean in Bewitched is the color, and these are a short length, $29.99, and they're still too long. I mean, they're tucking up underneath my shoe. Um, not something that I will keep, because I have jeans that fit me perfectly. I just figured with the short length, not working. This top is the Lee and Nicole Women's Noir, and this is a petite, and this is $13.84. So this is more like, I would say, like a boat neck, the way it's designed, but it's very comfortable, very short. I love the sleeve length, because if I 
a lot of times with long sleeves they're just too long and it's um, it fits I think it fits nicely um, no complaints here it's the perfect length so of $13 I'll be keeping this sweater I mean the jeans fit um, throughout they're not tight they have let's see sh you know working pockets everywhere um, you know they I mean they fit nicely they're not too baggy they do have a little stretch but not a lot and it's all length for that and um, I have three pair of shoes and I'll be uh, maybe I'll leave the jeans on and try the um, the shoes on so we'll be right back okay I figured I would angle the camera down um, I had to get out of that sweater it was just totally too warm these are the Dr. Scholl's um, women's cunning ankle boot and toasted coconut microfiber size 6 for $81 so these I would think that the zip would be on the inside not the outside but maybe that's just me I would assume the inside but these are not that way I mean these are really cute they're comfortable Dr. Scholl so they're nice and cushiony they fit perfect the heel is more like a like a cowboy boot style heel and obviously, you know, I just, um, I'm, I'm barefoot. They have liners in them. You know, I would probably have, um, if I'm wearing them in the winter time, like a sock on just to, you know, um, you know, a thin sock, but maybe not. It really just depends on the temperature, but these are really, really cute and comfortable. They are expensive. They are $81, but something that would be an investment, uh, shoe that you would have for a while. So these are really cute. So then we'll try the next pair on. Okay, I have the Kula Bora by Ugg Woman's Sophia Fashion Boot Black, size 6 medium. These are $89.78. See, these have the zipper on the inside. The other pair had them on the outside. To me, that doesn't seem right. Most are on the inside. So this is just like a chunkier heel. Cute little button detail. And in the back, the little Ugg symbol. These are very cushiony um, under your, like, the ball of your foot. These fit perfectly. Um, sometimes I struggle with shoes making my feet look longer than they are. Um, where the other pair didn't seem to, and you would think black wouldn't, but this makes my feet look bigger than they actually are. But if I had long pants on, which I was just getting too warm, so I didn't uh, leave them on. Um, but these are um, a possibility because these are really, really cute. This is what they look like. I mean, I think they're adorable. Definitely worth the price because you would have them for a long, long time. So then I want to try on the last pair, which is the pair of um, wedges. Okay, I have the last pair of shoes on. And these are the Lifestride Women's Alina Pump White and Black, size 6 medium. These are $40.67. This is what it looks like on the inside and on the outside. And right here, they are sort of like catching my foot. And it's like a little narrow right there. I mean, these are adorable. They're extremely comfortable. This is what they look like from the back. I mean, I think these are cute and would be so adorable in the summer. I'm not sure if that's... I've had I had shoes on earlier today because it's only doing it on the right. It's not doing it in my on my left foot, so I don't know. Maybe one foot's bigger than the other that you don't um, notice. But I think these are adorable, and they do have the cork heel, very comfortable to walk in. Um, but this definitely is catching my outer, um, like my little toe is up in the shoe, but it's catching the bone right there. So I don't know if that's just my foot, but they are comfortable, um, and I do like them. And I know if I got any other size, they would, you know, they wouldn't fit because this is the proper size. But these are adorable. So if you're interested in these for the summer, these would be really cute. Um, but maybe you know, like I said, my right foot might be slightly wider than my left foot. Um, but I do like these, and that's a shame because I would have kept them. And we'll be back for my final thoughts. Okay, so probably only going to be keeping, um, I think, one item from this box, and I'm going to reorder one pair of pants in a smaller size. I mean, we've already gone over pricing, so I won't do that again. 
Um, these shoes right here, which were, I'll just show you one, we'll buckle it here. Really, really adorable. But right here on this side, I'm sorry, on my left, on my right foot, it was sort of catching right here off to the edge. And sometimes, you know, you do have one foot that's larger than the other, and I'm just afraid that that would continue to be a problem. So these um, are adorable, and I was hoping these would fit. They do have them in red and, um, you know, white with the red stripe, too, that were really cute. But I figured the black um, would be a better option for me. So they will be going back. This sweater here, I'm trying to keep bags together. This sweater here, I will be keeping. I do like this and um, we'll get plenty of wear out of it. And this was, you know, $13, so I think that's an excellent price. So I'll be keeping that. The jeans will be going back um, strictly because they were too long. Um, you know, I'm not paying to have jeans hemmed, I'm not cutting them. Because I have, I uh, usually Lee Rider, I don't have the problem with them. These are just regular, you know, Lee jeans. So I will just stick with Lee Rider because I know they will have the perfect length for me. This top, I'm not, well, I don't want to say just that one thing. I'm not sure about this. This one I'm going to think on. I have a few days yet. I think this is really cute. I could um, wear this casual. I could, you know, wear it like like almost like that business casual um, type um, thing with a you know nice pair of pants. So I did like that top too. It was a little scratchy, so I'm not real sure on that. And then these boots, the Ugg boots. What did you all think of the Ugg boots? There's the entire box, the cute little background, the Ugg boots. I thought these were adorable. Um, once again, you know, the zipper was on the inside where it should be. I'm a little thrown off with the other pair that's on the outside. You really shouldn't see that. That should be on the inside of your foot. But I love the detail on the Ugg ones, and these are adorable. I mean, they are a little pricey, but Uggs are expensive. They're not cheap. So I do like those, but I honestly don't know if I will keep them. That's the lid for the other pair of shoes. And then this pair of boots, and these are the Dr. Scholl's ones that I was talking about. The zipper's on the outside. So you see that. I want to see, I would rather see yeah, this on the outside. Like this is, here's my right shoe and here's the left shoe. So as you're, this is the inside. So you see the zippers. It should be the other way. Like the zippers should be this way. But it's the wrong shoes. I mean, there's a right and a left. I mean, they fit the, the proper way. I mean, nothing is crazy you can see, but I think the zipper should be on the inside. So you're, you know, the, on the outside, but these were adorable. I love them. For that reason with the zippers, I will not be keeping those. And then both of these pairs of pants, the the blue, what they're saying, or continent leggings and the brown ones, I will be exchanging the brown ones for a smaller size. Um, I do, um, I will find use for them. I do have that top from Stitch Fix and I have one other that I was looking in my closet that would really go great with brown um, that still has some of the olive tones in it. The blue I just don't need. I have plenty of like blue yoga style pants and I have blue dress pants, but I don't have brown. So for that reason, the brown will go back and will not be a repurchase, but I will reorder, I will send these back and in my next, um, wardrobe box I will get the proper size and then I'll buy them then um, but I'll try them on at that point because you know one size down they could then be too tight and um, you know then I can't get these at all but I am actually in my next box going to pick a, a few more sweaters and tops for the fall and the winter maybe to get away from always wearing like the sweatshirts and the heavier t-shirts and so forth make, dress it up a little bit and um, some true leggings. I'm, I'm trying my best to, to like them. I'm just, it's like hit or miss with me. I have one pair, um, but I would like some solid colors that I could wear with pattern tops and and so forth. Um, you know, cause that, that blouse that I have to go with these brown pants, if I had a nice pair of brown true leggings, I could put it like a, a, a tennis shoe, a sneaker or whatever, trainers, whatever you want to call them. 
and just like wear it is so so casual or I could put it on with these pants and you know go out to dinner or you know go out and to be a little dressier so that it's not with jeans and so forth um, so that is my box for Amazon Prime wardrobe so let me know what you think about this um, like I said I want to get another box and I think I want to continue with this um, on the channel I do like this for those that are Amazon Prime members um, I think this is a great feature and you should take advantage of it um, if you're looking for clothes because you don't pay for them unless you keep them there is no styling fee there is no upfront charges you just get your eight items and you can use jewelry one time I got a pair of stud earrings and um, they just were too big of a stud for me I you know I'm not I don't need this big gaudy stud on my ear that's just not me um, I like hoops small hoops like this size hoop um, or studs I am going to get a pack of studs because I have four holes in the right ear and three in the left and I never wear the upper earrings but I'm going to get some small diamond studs to put in the upper holes and then just like a small hoop in the bottom and maybe just um, wear that a little bit more I'm my hair uh, has grown so much since the last time I got a cut which was not all that long ago so I'm thinking about letting it grow a little bit and um, or um, get it cut back into my bob that I had um, I think maybe a year or so ago I really did like that cut um, it was you know shorter in the back but it was longer in the front and I might not get it as long in the front and just let some of the layers grow back out I'm forever changing my hair um, I get a cut one way and like it for um, six months eight months and then I get bored with it and want to change it so I might get it highlighted and then cut again um, I always think I'll let it grow and but I when it's styleless to me then it's I'm bored with it it has to have a style or has to you know be able to you know it was so much easier when I had the bob because I could just dry it or let it air dry and then just straight iron it flatten it out and um, my hair was done so I might try to go back to that but then I have to let some of these layers get a little longer but I can still get it cut in that way as the layers are growing out so um, I think with the earrings you'll see more of them if it's shorter so God knows what I'll you know I've gone from super long to super short in one haircut so who knows what I'll get in the next couple weeks so let, like I said I got off on a tangent I'm sorry so let me know what you think about wardrobe um, prime wardrobe in the comments below I am going to keep on getting it for a little while just so that I can maybe show you guys all the things that you can get um, you know you can order coats um, snow boots whatever you know flip-flops wherever part, part of the country you live in and you desire for your season we're going to be heading into fall and winter and I have a feeling it's going to be a very cold winter so I'm, I'm trying to get some more cozy um, looking at right now sweaters and like I said getting away from all the sweatshirts all the time even though that's nice and cozy and warm if you're just staying in but so let me know your opinion on that and I appreciate all you watching and I hope to see you all in my next video bye bye now